friends, I'm sorry that this video is quite late considering it's um, day... No, it's not day, it's the 6th of October and I feel like I'm doing another vlog month. It's like, it's day 6 of vlogtober or whatever. <laughs> That's Elaine's um, actual use for hers. Use for hers. I can't talk today, I'm really sorry. But that's what Elaine says for her one in Vlogtober because she uh, vlog, vlogs every day. And if you don't know her channel, please check her out. She's called Elaine of Elaine 12 Jones. I love her vlogs. She vlogs every single day. You've always got an upload from her, which is amazing because I love to watch her videos. And she's an amazing friend. So I'm going to talk to you about alternative favourites. So I'm going to start with a music one. I don't know if you all know, but Pink's new album came out called The Truth About Love. I am in love with this album. It's totally amazing. Um, I'm obsessed. I play it so much. I've been playing it in the car and driving. I like totally mad with it. But my favourite tracks on here are Try and Just Give Me A Reason. I am obsessed with Just Give Me A Reason. The other day in the car we were driving home and I must have played it about five times in a row and Alec was going, again? <laughs> I just love the song. It's amazing. Um, yes, so absolutely love, love, love this album, but very disappointed she's not coming to Newcastle with her tour. Um, I don't know if we'll be travelling to see her, I'm not really sure. I don't know. I would love to, but you know, it's expensive to go and do that. It's the travel and, you know, expensive tickets and stuff like that. So we'll have to wait and see, but I absolutely love Pink, so I've been loving this album. Um, jewellery, I have a couple of jewellery ones. I've been wearing these earrings all month. I love these silver crosses. I actually got those from, I think they're from Topshop. They're just plain. I've also got some that have got like a little clear gem above the cross. I love those as well. And um, those ones were from Outfit. I can't remember where they're from. I think they're Dorothy Perkins. And this is, these are Miss Selfridge ones. They came in a pack of three. So we got three pink, um, you got two pink, two blue, and two ivory. And I've been wearing these ones a lot lately. I think they look really pretty in. So I love these. Raspberry Ruffles! <laughs> okay, so, um, I've been loving Raspberry Ruffles. Yes. They are two grams of fat per ruffle, so I can't eat a lot of them. But if I really do feel I need that little bit of sugar or that little bit of chocolate, then I do reach for Raspberry Ruffle. Um, yes, I do still eat the mints. I do find that cleanses my palate after I've eaten. And it also stops me reaching for other foods to eat afterwards because it gives you a fresh sensation in your mouth. And food after you've eaten a mint, after you've brushed your teeth, doesn't taste quite the same. It's not quite as appealing, so it's quite good really. Um, if you can have a mint because then it might stop you from snacking further on and I'm gonna do like a little sort of um, update on kind of how my eating and my exercise regime has kind of changed um, just over the past couple of weeks but yes I love raspberry ruffles and I can smell it through the packaging <laughs> but they're amazing and I know this is gonna sound weird but these things here totally make me think about um, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. There's a very old cartoon of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And I remember seeing it when I was very, very little. And I really loved it. I mean, I love the story and I've read the book. And, um, yeah, I read that at a very early age. And, yeah, I... In that... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about Hello. that. <laughs> so, in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, the Snow Queen, basically, um, the White Queen, the Ice Queen, yeah, I can't remember. Why I can't remember? Anyway, she tries to get Eric to come over to her side and to be evil, basically. And she gets him onto the sleigh and she hands him this bowl of Turkish Delight. It's supposed to be Perk's Turkish Delight and it keeps refilling and he keeps eating it because he loves it and it's kind of to win him over. But the Turkish Delight to me always looks like what raspberry ruffles look like when you bite into them because chocolate covered and pink inside so this totally reminds me of that and I know that's totally bizarre and you're probably thinking what but yes <laughs> absolutely love um, raspberry ruffles um also this month and I don't have it here to, sh to show you I've been loving onesies I've got two of them no no I've got three of them I've got three onesies and they're lovely sort of fluffy sort of material like fleece and it's been quite cold over the past week probably maybe a little bit longer so I've been loving my onesies for bed get in from work get your onesie on get comfortable it's just been absolutely lovely to feel really snug and this is going to make me sound really old but bed socks and it's just basically fluffy socks I love wearing fluffy socks around the house um again just sounds really bizarre doesn't it really but just keeps my feet nice and warm and it's just really quite cold um so yeah 
I know. I quite like cold weather though, because I'm not really somebody that can cope a lot with heat. I don't really like hot weather overly much. So, oh, just checking that. Um, right, also, television wise, I'm absolutely loving a series called Person of Interest. I don't know if any of you are watching it. I can't remember what channel it's on, sorry. Um, it's either going to be probably on Watch or Living or somewhere along those lines. It's amazing. Um, I was really disappointed when Unbreakable finished because I absolutely love that and then obviously CSI uh, Las Vegas finished recently which was disappointing. Um, not so much at the CSI Miami this series round, I just, just really think it's just had its day but it is the last series. I probably will watch the last episode. Um, but Person of Interest is amazing, you should try and check it out. Um, Basically, it's this man and he kind of has no history or background. He's kind of always been this kind of army sort of spy type of guy who's just kind of gone and done like missions and stuff. And he gets involved in this scheme that this other guy has. And he basically made up this software program after 9-11 that would check, uh, would basically monitor everybody's conversations and find out if anybody was talking about terrorist acts. But part, a side effect of that was it actually highlighted people who were going to get hurt or murdered or do something like murder somebody else and basically those names would print out and then at the end of the day they would just disappear and they would be gone um so what he did was he gave that software basically to the government but he kept a, like a like a, a how to say it it's like um a cyber backdoor so he actually ha hacked into the system in a sense and he's able to get those names out every day and then he gets this other guy um to go um it's reese you call him reese mr reese he gets he gets him to go and find out what's going to happen to that person and stop whatever it is that's about to happen to happen and it's really good because he's really good looking He's gorgeous. And he totally, I just think he'd be perfect to play Jack Reacher in the Jack Reacher movie because he just is, that's how I picture Jack Reacher to be. Really handsome, but, you know, just really, really, oh, just really good at what he does and just so cool and calm and fantastic. Absolutely love that series. I'm still loving Revenge. Um, I love that. I can't wait for Pretty Little Liars to come back. And I am still reading the Pretty Little Liars books. I'm almost finished, so I've really been enjoying them. They're not, they I want to say they're nothing like the series. Obviously it's the same character, same situation, but a lot of things that happen in the books haven't actually happened in the series. So I like that because I can read them, read those and watch that. And I don't get confused between the two and I don't think about the two and I, you know, I just treat them as two separate things, but characters that I obviously love and a situation that I'm interested in. So I've been loving Pretty Little Lies. I can't wait for that to come back on the screens. Um, other things, um... I think that's about it really. I have to say YouTube. Um, I think that YouTube has become something that is something that I love to check in on every day. Not just to check if you commented or sent me messages because I like to reply to them, but also just because, I don't know, I just love to watch the videos every day. It's like, um, it's like watching your friends talk to you. I don't know, it's just, it's very, it's, it's strange, but I do love to watch videos because it's real people talking about real things, their views, their opinions, and I just find that really entertaining. It's, you know, it's really good. So I've been loving YouTube. Um, and that's about it, I think. <laughs> I've been very busy with the wedding plans, obviously, so the wedding has been one of my favourite things for this month because we're getting very excited. It's next week now, so that's very exciting stuff. Um, oh, I've been watching Style to Rock which is, I think it's got quite a lot of bad reviews, but we actually love it because we're actually fans of Project Runway, which we love to watch as well. And basically, Rihanna's just got this team of designers together and they're being eliminated, eliminated one by one every week. They're doing like style challenges and whoever doesn't meet up to it goes. And yeah, and then at the end of it, whoever wins gets to do um, designs of her stage clothing. So I think that's a fantastic opportunity. And we just love watching it. We love to see what designs they come out with and you know what fabrics they use. And we just really like creative programs. So we've been really loving that. Um, yeah, so that's been very good. And there's not very many of them left in the competition now, so that's interesting. And Strictly Come Dancing starts tonight. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Did I just shake my finger wings at you? <laughs> okay, so. I think that's about it favourite wise. Um, 
I'm still being really healthy and really good. I've actually lost my target lower weight, which is a stone. I am so happy, 14 pounds. I feel a lot better in myself. I know that I look a lot better when I look in the mirror. I don't feel like I look. I know I still have a long way to go, don't get me wrong. I still have another three stone to lose. Probably a bit less than that, maybe another two and a half. And I know that's huge. It's a massive amount of weight to lose. But I know that I look at myself in the mirror now and I feel a lot more comfortable with how I look. I just felt like I had rolls and I felt really huge and just uncomfortable in clothes and I don't think that's healthy so um, I've just really been enjoying like my exercise and my eating and I don't know I'm just really quite into it now it's just become something that I do and if I don't do it I feel guilty about it <laughs> how bizarre is that yeah it's like I'll eat something and or I'll think about eating something and I'll have a couple of bites and think right that's enough actually you've had a taste of that you don't need any more and I had a <laughs> Alec came home the other night and he was just in stitches at me because um, I really had a, like, a sweet tooth. So I was like, oh, I really need something. So I got the peanut butter out and I ate a couple of spoons of that. Then I got the Nutella out and I ate a couple of spoons of that. Because <laughs> that's how we, we like to eat some of those things from the jar with a spoon. It's amazing. It's a comfort food at its best. So I ate a couple of that and I had a, a spoon of marshmallow fluff. And he came in and I was like, I've been really bad. I feel really awful. I've been really bad. He was like... Well, what have you done? What have you eaten? Have, you know, did you did you eat a couple of chocolate bars? What have you done? I says, well, I had this, and I told him, and he was like, "Is that it?" <laughs> he says, "Really? Compared to what you used to eat, do you think that's honestly bad?" He says, "You know, you know," and I do find that if I don't have those little bits of sweetnesses, like my raspberry ruffles, then I would just want to go and binge, and I would just want to eat the contents of the chocolate drawer because we do have a chocolate drawer in this house. Um. Yes. When Alec first moved in, he was quite amazed with this. Like, well, why doesn't she eat the whole contents of the drawer? Because it was basically we put all the chocolate in there and then she can just get what she wants out. And I actually feel by giving her the responsibility to choose what she wants and how much she wants, is it's it's made a huge difference, I think. Instead of going, you can have that, but you, that's all you can have. Or this is all you can have. Or this is what I'm giving you packet of buttons and you don't have a choice you're kind of making them want it more and it's like that with dieting somebody says to me yeah you can't have that it's like oh, I really really want it now you know what I mean so um I just found the chocolate drawer I gave her it the first couple of days she ate a little bit more than she should have but she realized that that you know she felt a bit sick from that and then she learned from it and now she'll actually go down and she'll get herself a packet of buttons she might get, pick up a little bit of something else out of there and she'll take it to her room and that's it she doesn't overeat out of that drawer. It's just given her some adult responsibility to control what she eats and that she knows that she shouldn't eat a lot of it and she knows the effects if you eat too much of it. So I think that's a really good thing. So I just like her to have responsibility, to have some independence. She's, you know, she's 12, but she's had that sweet drawer since she was about seven. And I thought she's always been really good with it. And yeah, I don't know why I'm waffling on about that in a September favorites video though. <sighs> You know me though, I'm a good waffler. So that's it for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I love you and leave you all and see you all soon. Bye.